you built your arms by, you know, attaching iron to them, and I built mine by pumping iron. We are not the same. <laughs> oh, okay, God. Well, I kind of need you. It's either I made new arms or mine stopped working, so I kind of chose the, the prior. You ever try protein? <laughs> uh, have, have you. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm, I, I know some good regiments. All I'm saying. A little bit no, late for that, you. now ain't it? We do yeah. our workout in the morning. Sometimes Iris and I go in jogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit late now that my fists are made of netherite, so, you know. If I'd really want to work out, I'd run to Wild Ridge and back. Yeah. yeah do it. <laughs> Make that happen. Mm-hmm. Come on down to the gym. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was sponsored. <laughs> no wrong. Eventually. <laughs> Bank. 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 Oh, can we get a yeah? yeah! That's what we love to see. Yeah. <laughs> we love a good bank. We love it. <laughs> While we're waiting, would anyone like some jokes? Absolutely. One. Yeah. You get one. Let's make it a good one. Who would ever Ooh, say no to one them? joke? All right. You get one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Let me think. Make a count. Hmm. Okay. Before I rest, please. <laughs> There's your one. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. All right. Deliver. What? I think you should one. deliver the joke. Go ahead. So, you can roll roll All right. Permi Permission to step up to the mic. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, It'd be real funny if his mind. majesty right. just appeared right so, behind you, right, like right now. Um, well, that'd be really funny. I mean, hey, he's welcome to it. All right, so follow, follow me out. There's a family. They live in the woods. One day, husband goes hunting. He kills himself a oh. deer. He brings home that deer for the family to eat. They're going to eat it. It's going to be good. But. They live in the woods. It's a boring existence if you leave them. The game is, they're not going to tell the children what the meal is. They're just going to give them one little hint. They're going to have to guess. They're sitting down at the meal. The little boy at the meal asks very simply, Daddy, Daddy, what kind of meat are we eating? And the dad looks at him and goes, Well, son, what your mother calls me sometimes, and uh, someone might refer to you, too. The little girl stands up on the table, kicks away the meat, says, Don't eat it, don't eat it. It's an asshole. I got mine if you want to hear it. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can stop that. <laughs> that I, I don't think I can, but I'll give it a, sh a shot. Uh, what happened when the blue ship and red ship collided at sea? Their crews Bible. were marooned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll give you that one. I got, I got, I got one I'm more. Kidding. Sorry, I'm colorblind. Yes. Yeah, what, is, what is two wheels what? and flies? What? Uh, what? Garbage can. <laughs> 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 you, you know, I heard about a terrible yeah, accident. Oh. oh goodness! Oh, 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 oh. perfect oh. timing. <laughs> oh. Please stand for the national anthem.
I assume it's still going. Oh, wait. I promise, it's almost over. I promise. <laughs> so long. It's only two minutes long. <laughs> I love it. Thank you all so much. Please remain standing and remove your hats for the blessing. Snaff, please. <clears throat> Alrighty. Blessed be the waves. Like the waves, we start off small, but then can grow and become something bigger than ever imagined, letting our ambitions drive us. Blessed be those who slay each and every day. Blessed be those who embody the creek which wears down the mountain. For they are the people who will bring about true change and make and make their way down the mountain. Blessed be the dawn. May the warmth of the dawn nurture your spirits and the coolness of the shade offer you rest. And blessed be those with ambition. Those who never give up on their dreams and those who use their ambition and to be, to do think yeah to become unstoppable um let us never forget that as long as we put our minds to something and work towards it nothing will ever be too far out of our grasp long is the reach dark is the deep amen 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 amen, amen. 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 pray be seated everyone thank you all for coming um i have some announcements and some things to go over just like i do every month and then we have some business to do today some real business not really kind of mostly yes uh so to start us off as many of you know uh, many members of the court and the royal family many officers of the crown and other peers and such and so forth uh will be leaving Kara for a couple of weeks uh next month in our absence uh, beginning on the 12th and ending on the 26th of july uh, princess eve will be serving as protector of the realm and will stand in my place as Sovereign here in Kara. Uh, to help her, Sir K... Um, regarding election results... So, where do I begin? First of all, congratulations to our members of parliament. Congratulations on winning your election. Here, here for them, yes? Here, here. Here, 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 here. It was a very good election, and I have some people to thank for that. Uh, I would like to thank all of those, of course, who ran, all of those who put in the effort uh, for putting their platforms and making their posts on the board in a timely manner. Uh, I know that I hounded some people and sent some people to hound some people in regards to the availability of people's platforms and their perspectives on things. Uh, it's very important that the electorate know exactly what the people representing them believe so they can make a good decision to vote. Uh, that's something that I think we're only going to get better at, uh, but the questionnaires are um, a very important part of that. I, of course, wanted to thank the Chamberlain, Melina Lassels, who does all of the forms and writes all of the posts and runs all of the meetings pre-parliament, schedules all of the parliaments. Uh, you could say uh, that Melina does everything. And if Melina somehow perished tomorrow, today, yesterday, um, I would need to hire a battalion of workers uh, to replace them. So here, here for Melina, yes? Here, 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 here. here, here. Yes, uh, I would like to report as well that the election results, some of the writings went to a second ballot, 
Uh, but all of the election results and the candidates appear to be in good order, and all will be permitted to sit tomorrow. Now, on to the funny part. We have received some correspondence from a couple of individuals who lost their elections this last week. Let, let me be clear. So people who lost their elections sent some letters here to the Citadel. Now, I'm not going to name anybody in particular, of course. But I must express how absolutely disappointed I am that some people could be such bad losers. Very unsportsmanlike, very dishonorable. Um, very disappointing. I wanted to give the people of Kara and this court a three quotes that I think will summarize the correspondence that we received here in the Citadel. Letters that were addressed to me. To give you here, I'll start with the first. And I quote, I don't like saying this about my fellow townspeople, but they didn't even try and were lazy. And that was in, uh, end quote, that was in regards to the person who Or choice, end quote. <laughs> right? Okay. And finally, this is this is my favorite. Okay. Quote, I'm not just saying all this because I lost. I am saying this because I lost to bullshit. End quote. So, friends, colleagues, Lazuli, there's... <laughs> I... I'm very disappointed. So to those of you uh, who sent those letters, you obviously know who you are if you are here. Uh, please know that such are very unwelcome in future, and you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. Uh, I find it somewhat amusing, but I would say that especially in regards to making comments about your neighbors who won their election when you did not, uh, such a thing speaks very poorly upon one's character. Uh, and very poorly upon one's honor in this way, uh, that they would go and try and remedy such a situation of which there is no recourse um, that would be appropriate. Uh, so when the electorate seemingly failed them and they did not win, even though they thought that they were the most deserving, they thought that I would simply change the results for them. And such a thing is very shameful to believe. Um, very shameful. So, that is my disappointing news for you all. Uh, but just know uh, that there are those amongst you, perhaps, who will say something nice to your face, uh, but say something very mean to the King of Stone Bay because they want them to change the election. So, that's that. Regarding the Towns Act and mayoral accountability, um, so I have been doing much thinking, and after some discussion with some people uh, who live in Seralia and other places, most notably, actually, Horizons Gate. Clias, are you here? Pop up, Clias, if you're here. There's Clias. Everybody say hi, Clias. Oh, wow, that's magic. Hi, Everybody Clias. say hi, Clias. Hi, Clias. Hi, Clias. Hi, Clias. Hi, Clias. Yeah, so Clias... Clias is the interim mayor of Horizons Gate. Uh, now, you might be wondering, you can sit down, uh, Clias, I reckon you probably don't like this. So, the reason that Horizons Gate has an interim mayor is because their last mayor uh, just got up and left. Just one day they were there, and the next day they were gone. They just, they just quit. So this is very disappointing, and the damage that was done to uh, Horizons Gate, I do not think can be understated. Uh, there was a bit of a scramble over there, I do believe, a scramble that I was more than happy to hear about and more than happy to help with. Um, so Callias will be serving as interim mayor and has been serving as interim mayor for some time um, uh, until the next municipal election, uh, which will be uh, next week. <laughs> so, something very funny. 
Sorry. My apologies. Yeah, no worries. So, yes. So they will be serving as interim mayor, and they will, um, yeah, obviously, if they wish to run again for election, they might. But knowing Callias, I don't think Callias likes that job, which is exactly why I gave Callias that job. So, uh, yes, I will be making it a priority of the next election, or the next government. Uh, you will hear it in my mandate tomorrow, read by Princess Eve. Uh, my goal is to ensure that mayors and other local leaders are held accountable for their actions or their lack thereof. Uh, many mayors all across Kara uh, during their municipal elections go unopposed and unchallenged. Uh, this has created, in my opinion, a situation where there are almost elected peers. They win the first time and they're never um, challenged again. Um, this is not the purpose of mayoral elections. This is not the purpose of the Towns Act that we've put forward. that such a thing uh, should not go unchallenged again. If there are those in positions of public trust, uh, those people should be held to the highest standard, regardless of whether they are a peer who I keep accountable or a mayor where their people should be trying to keep them accountable. Uh, obviously now that has not worked. So I will be asking parliament to keep mayors accountable in future. Uh, and that will be probably the topic perhaps of a committee certainly of some laws, and certainly of some conversations with the prime minister. Um, but my understanding is um, all across Kara, um, not every mayor, there are some excellent mayors out there. I don't want to try and besmirch all of them, um, but uh, there are some that have performed inadequately uh, and done not so well on behalf of their people. And that is very troubling to me. So we will be doing everything in our power to fix that in a way that respects the people who live there, and respects the people who are trying to do a good job, but also maintains a very hard line. And that hard line is, if you're a mayor who doesn't give a flying fuck and runs it like your own little kingdom, uh, your days are numbered. We are coming for you. That's all. Thank you. Now, on to regarding city construction projects. So, as some of you may have seen on your way in, here, uh, there are several more renovations and projects coming to the city. Uh, in the coming weeks and in the coming months. Uh, the Determiner's Warehouse will be moving down the street. Uh, we'll be getting a much needed upgrade. Uh, the Welcome Center will be getting a much, much needed expansion as a result. And most notably, uh, we'll be getting work in clearing space and planning the site of the future Royal Academy here in the city. Uh, so if there was any question as to where the Academy may be, it will be here in the capital. Uh, a place that everybody seemingly knows how to get to, a place that seemingly uh, quite a few people live in, and uh, goodness me, a place that is safe. So uh, that is the idea behind that. Uh, there's also many other projects we have planned. We're going to be redoing some of the walls and the gates, uh, making them a little bit more um, appropriate given the stature um, and what we want for the city. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of different little projects coming up. Uh, and I'm happy to say that in future, uh, the Bay Building Company will be doing 100% of those construction projects. So speaking of the Bay Building Company in, and in regards to them, 
Uh, the point has been raised to me now a couple of times, and I needed a very solid platform and a, a solid group of people to relay this to. Um, the Bay Building Company does extraordinary work. Um, people see it all over Cara, many of the roads, uh, many bridges, uh, many buildings here in the city and elsewhere. Uh, the Bay Building Company, I would say, represents the gold standard of uh, construction. They move very quickly. Uh, their buildings are always, um, they always look very good. Uh, they're never too big. Um, it's its excellent. Uh, the princess does a very good job, uh, but the time has come uh, where the Bay Building Company requires your support. Uh, significant support in terms of manpower. Uh, much of their work currently is being done by a very small group of people. Um, and that's fine uh, when the projects used to be, okay, well, let's renovate something in the Citadel or let's change, uh, let's put up a building in the city. Uh, these, um, these smaller projects uh, were, were pretty easy to just get done in a day or two. Um, I will say the idea that uh, the Bay Building Company has built all of the roads in Orlan uh, outside of the West Road, which I think they built anyway, um, and also will be building the roads or have been building the roads in Seralia. Um, these projects have represented a significant challenge. So it is my ask and my request uh, to the mayors and to the peers and to all others who possess local influence to try and direct people uh, to work, even just try it, at the uh, BBC. Because the work is paid, unlike some places that people work around here, apparently. Uh, the work uh, at the Bay Building Company is paid. Uh, it is very well funded. I believe much of the land commission, um, Umber, much of the land commission money goes to the BBC, doesn't it? Yeah, I would say a majority of it. Yeah. So there's a significant amount of money moving to the BBC. And they have a lot of projects currently. Uh, we just need more people involved who want to share of that money. So uh, if anyone is looking for work or just looking to help out, uh, you or anyone you know uh, can send uh, an inquiry uh, to the uh, uh, Bay Building Company office addressed to Princess Eve at 22 Stone Street here in the city. There you go. And I believe that concludes my announcements. Can we get a here here for the Bay Building Company for Princess Eve? Yeah. Here, here. Here, 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 here. I I've never seen buildings put up so quickly. Just never seen that before. Um, so I think that um, when Eve is queen, uh, there's going to be a lot of um, royally mandated renovations everywhere. So just prepare yourself. <laughs> All right. Also, the banning of uh, what's your least favorite wood? Um, I don't necessarily have a, have a least favorite wood, but purple. Um, okay. I would ban. You would ban it. I would ban purple. So when you're sitting in this chair, when you're queen, you would. What would be the penalty for somebody using purple? Let's say as death. like a like, oh death. I, I, there is there is no other option. Oh. Oh, there you were no there was no hesitation. <laughs> there, okay, yeah, you're no here. Hesitation. You're here for the death penalty, I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay, <laughs> all right, great job. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Very well. Um I have before me the report from the Royal Honors Commission. Um out of all of the individuals. Uh, that the Royal Honors Commission heard from. Uh, there were three that stood out, and in this wave of people, there were three that they have recommended to me. Uh, it was, in no particular order, uh, Felix Stellamaris, who I knighted earlier at their fashion show. So here, here for Felix, yeah? Here, 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 here. And it was Iris... Iris Valheim and Helena Valheim. So those were the three names that were given to me by the Royal Honors Commission. 
And at the end of today's proceedings, I will be knighting Iris and Helena here. So congratulations to those two. We will have um, a proper celebration for that uh, when I knight them later. Uh, I also had before me... Ah, yes. Everyone... Okay, everybody, everybody strap in for a second. Everybody just take a deep breath. Everybody, all right, everybody stand up. Everybody take a hop and then touch your toes. Oh, should I drink now? Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, take a shot and sit back down. Here we go. The last time we sat for Prismarine Court, I asked the treasurer, uh, Halcyon Kraydark, and uh, Wilhelm Mullen to audit, to their best of their abilities, the uh, post office. After a report was given here by the then Prime Minister, Thorne Cavendish. So, I would like to hear that report from the two auditors. You may take the floor. Thank you, Your Majesty. You can go in the um, middle, too. You can do, you do whatever you like. Okay. Wonderful. Um, lovely. Um, so, upon the orders of the last Prismarine Court, um, we, to the best of our ability, audited the um, post office, um, in which I was not able to get a hold of... Um, any posties or postmaster general except for Draco, um, in which um, I Often, uh, we found that either people were not aware that they could use the post office, um, as well as um, a lot of people believed that there was a lot of inconsistencies with the post office, whether their mail went missing, uh, believed that um, delivering the mail themselves was faster, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. As for financially, everything looks to be just about in order. Um, they currently hold 384 silver, in which um, locating where they have the money looks to be about right. Um, as per the budget currently, um, they receive 128 silver weekly per said budget, in which... Um, to my knowledge, currently, they're spending about 224, which they are running a 96 silver um, deficit, um, if that is correct word. Um, my recommendation otherwise is um, to um, either get new management and posties, or find a different way to um, use the post office. Very well. You I have something to add. Are... Yes, go on. Uh, uh, my personal recommendation is if uh, finding new management is unable to rectify these issues, uh, I would suggest actually just completely folding the post office as public opinion seems to be against the post office as not many people actually utilize it. Well, good thing we have quite a few people here. Could you give me a stand and a jump if you use the post office? Good heavens. I used it once. I'm I'm glad, Governor. Very well, thank you. I was expecting more people to stand up. Can we, okay, just just quickly, everyone, even on the benches and elsewhere, if you've ever used the Stone Bay Royal Postal Authority post offices, ever, like sent mail with it, not just for taxes. If you if you just use it as a tax drop off, sit back down. 
But if you've sent mail with it, stand up and give me a jump, yeah? Okay, that's more people than I thought. But that's still not a lot, and it's nobody on the benches. Okay. Oh, all right. So you said they are running a deficit? This is a government organization. Their money comes from Parliament. They're spending more than Parliament gives them? Correct, Your Majesty. Um, from what their ledger looks like, um, originally their wages, um, they were spending about 128 silver pieces, and I assume because they hired two more posties, um, it looks like they went up to spending around... Um, 224 silver, in which their weekly budget from the current budget is 128 silver pieces, and they are spending about 224 silver pieces. So they get, so, so they're spending 200 something. They get 128. You said? Yes, Your Majesty. I believe they were running a surplus from the previous budget, Your Majesty. So, so did they store up this surplus, and now they're they're like, they're like running the books on it? Um, so what it looks like is, um, they were saving up, and they saved up to about 1.4 to 1.5k silver pieces. Um, the biggest expenditure that they had done was, uh, 380 silver pieces for two style uniforms. Um, and then it looks like from then... It just kept on going down from the sixth or the third day of the sixth month of last I month. See. Okay, all right. So, okay, I think I'm starting to understand this. It is my. I would like to share this. Um, Melina, did you want to read the report that we received from the Postmaster General, or would you like me to? Um, I think I am dying a little bit. Uh, it's not serious, but I think I might be dying a little bit, so it's probably best that you do it. Well, you, you'd, best, you'd best not die, because I don't have a battalion ready to replace you. Well, I... I Sir Hickson, I, I, please well, ensure that Melina does not die. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you. I will, at this time, on the agenda, put there what we received earlier today from the Postmaster General, as they could not be here today, and I will read it aloud. <clears throat> the words of the Postmaster General, Cala Blackrock. At the last prismarine court, both myself and the post office organization were scrutinized in a public manner that I did not like. In all my days of managing the post office, very rarely did anyone bring issues to my attention. My goal is to serve the people, and I find it incredibly hard to do so when I am not aware of the problems. For instance, the mishap of mail from our Seralian post office and Hollow Creek election. Myself, nor the senior staff, Lily Astrum, had no knowledge of there being issues. Had we known at the time, we would have taken action a lot sooner. My plan to rectify this issue is to begin a trial. To begin a trial of time cards for each postal staff each week, they are to monitor the general time frame and how many letters they delivered. This way, we can track the staff's activity within the branches. If there are any cases of missing mail, and our staff are not, are, and our staff were not responsible due to their time slots, then we know there is a bigger issue at hand. Come, please reconnect. Come on. They, they permeate a sickness to certain individuals. Uh, this is my effort to fix the issues at hand, and I hope they prove successful. Um, oh, here we go. We're talking about the money now. Goodness. Um, another issue that the people had was the influx of silver that we had in our vault. To address this issue, we will need to go back to the beginning of the RSBPA. Starting on January 1st, the post office received a total of 512 silver pieces. We received another 128 the following week. The post office was not fully functioning at the time, and I had felt it, would be f it wouldn't be fair to pay myself. 
the first instance of payment to myself and the workers Matilda, oh, Matilda, and Lily would be on January the 27th. From this time alone, the post office had a cushion of 512 silver pieces that I knew I wanted to save specifically for uniforms for the staff. The following week, we received another round of 512 silver pieces to cover any backlog of funds that were missing during the establishment of the bill. After this time, we remained relatively steady until our budget was increased in March. Beginning of March 1st, we we expressed interest in expanding the post office employees with the Prime Minister at the time, Belric Linderhall. We had agreed to an increased payment from the government of 192 silver pieces. We did not have much traffic of applicants at the time, and a lot of silver was being stored as it wasn't going to a new employee. I had another meeting with the then Prime Minister, Thorne Cavendish, and told him the same thing of my wishes. I let him know that the candidates we had were excellent, and I wanted to hire multiple, two as opposed to one. I also expressed my interest in giving our senior staff a raise to commemorate their dedication and hard work they've done during the development period. Although I do not remember the negotiations of a wage, I can agree looking back the number we were given was larger than needed. I would like the post office to have a budget consisting of the amount we need to pay the employees, plus an additional 16 to 32 silver piece extra to be stored in the event we need to re-up on supplies. Supplies include but are not limited to book and quill and paper. The post office was in a financial deficit as of this past month due to not receiving funds. Finalizing the negotiation of pricing for our uniforms and continuing to pay workers, we had enough funds to pay everyone, with myself receiving a small shortage, which is no issue. If we did not receive the funds on June the 25th, the post office would have had nothing to pay our employees. I had offered the government to fund this organization myself if there were any issues to show my dedication and love for what we've done so far. The workers are all doing all that they can for the people, and I do not want to see that falter. Going forward, the post office wishes to continue serving the people of Kara. We need your feedback. I know a lot of folks were not happy with us, especially from the light we received at Prismarine Court, and I encourage more people to use our suggestion boxes. We are taking more steps to work on road violations to ensure safety to all Karans, as well as undertaking previously mentioned measures to ensure we operate smoothly. I am open to speak to any individual, political or not, and clear up any misconceptions that may have come up. Thank you for your time and consideration. Signed, Cala Blackrock, RS Postmaster General of the RSBPA. So, to my auditors, um, obviously, there seems to be... From the looks of it, the biggest problem that I can see, other than the, which I find to be incredibly, that this part here is is completely, um, it's inexcusable. The fact that they would up their weekly um, spending when they did not receive their budget increase from the government. Uh, this part is uh, very irresponsible. A flat, uh, there is no excuse for that. Um, they did not get the additional funds from the uh, Thorn Cavendish uh, Premiership, um, and they s- decided to spend anyway. And that part you have pointed out, that part is also pointed out here in their statement. There is no dispute of that fact. I think the biggest problem so seemingly, and the reason that we are still talking about this a month later, uh, and the reason we're probably going to keep talking about this, is there seems to be a horrific lack of communication between the Postmaster General and anybody who has uh, a stake or an opinion in this. Your Majesty, if I may. You may. Um, During uh, during the course of this audit, uh, I sent two letters to um, the Postmaster General, uh, one directly to their office and one to their home. Neither one of them was replied to. Did you deliver the letter yourself? Uh, the one to the office I did, but the one to their uh, uh, to their place I decided to use the postal service to see if the postal service could deliver it, and I, I don't know if it got delivered or not. I see. And when were these letters delivered? Uh, approximately uh, a week and a half ago. A week and a half ago. Thank you. 
obviously the problem as from from that and as i was going to say is communication would you agree i agree very well this will be a part of the next government's mandate and i would like to keep you both on this task uh, to advise uh, the next prime minister whoever that may be to ensure that this is sorted and fixed as soon as possible a new prime minister will of course be named tomorrow and you two are free to ambush them as you like but yes this is generally very disappointing and disheartening the postal service was put together uh, to allow it, it is it is an equalizing measure that allows anybody regardless of their um availability or particular knowledge uh, be able to send out mail and get in contact with people that they need to. Uh, obviously, the post office, uh, given the small survey I have run here today, uh, people are not using it. Uh, this is, of course, disappointing, but it makes sense. Uh, and in future, it is my belief as well, and I agree with your recommendations, if the next government is not able to fix it, uh, then I will endorse its dissolution. Would anybody like to speak on that? Thank you so much. And thank you to my auditors. Here, here for the auditors, everyone. Yeah? Yeah. 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 You two may be seated. Thank you again. Yeah. Very well. And I did want to, um, before we move on from this section, I did not mention it. Uh, the Royal Honors Commission uh, met twice, uh, and both times I would say that scheduling was a nightmare. Um, so to those who were able to make it, and I know that it was the Chamberlain that did the scheduling, I intentionally put the Chamberlain in charge of the commission because I knew the Chamberlain is quite good at scheduling. Uh, so, of course, a big thanks to the commissioners, uh, Sir Hickson, Sir Kale, Sir Hiro, uh, and Sir Leaf uh, for their uh, time and continuous effort. And of course, to the Royal Commissioner, uh, the Chamberlain, uh, for their effort in putting it together. Um, it is my opinion, and moving forward, we will be releasing... Uh, probably another form and another post to this effect in the coming week, or maybe even today. It depends on how quickly the Chamberlain wants it's, to move on it. It's, uh, it's but already the same, out. It's already out. I already the, made the post. You've already made it. Good heavens. I, I wrote it this morning within like 30 minutes and posted it to the board. Very good. Uh, the Royal Honors Commission will be here. There are some uh, requirements, of course, um, and we will be altering those requirements um, as we see the interest. But uh, if you're interested in petitioning, petitioning the commission for a knighthood, you can do so on the board. Thank you. And here, here for the commission, yeah? It's hard work, yeah? Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. here, here. here, here. here, here. Here. Asking all those questions, and then Hiro being like, Yeah, would you like to air out any criminal activity you've done? <laughs> yeah. Hiro, are you here? I believe he just left. Okay. Goodness gracious, because that is the uh, question that Hiro asked, I think, everybody, that they got to ask that, too. But uh, good on them. Very well. Uh, I will now hear public. I will now hear public petitions. If you have a petition, please line up in the center aisle, and I will hear your petition. Um, and we will. Uh, oh goodness! Oh, excellent! All right. Yes. The Lord Mayor. Hello, Your Majesty. Hello, Bridget. Um, there's no way. There's no real easy way to put this, huh? Um. I'm not going to be staying in Cara for much longer, give or take a couple of months. I didn't want to be the kind to leave with all my honours on me. Um, I would like to ask if I can give back 
my sash and my royal sovereign so as to you know so that they may go to someone else who is also worthy i have a deep admiration for what you are trying to do by bringing them forward um you have indicated uh, that you will be departing as far yes. as i'm concerned those honors are yours you have earned them and you may take them with you and you should know that wherever indeed you end up going, I said it to your uh, sibling and I will say it to you, wherever you end up going and whatever adventure you end up going on next, uh, you will always have a home here. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. You can take them with you and do what you like. And I think I speak for the entirety of our country when I say good luck. Good this. luck. Here, here for Bridget, everyone. Here, 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 here. here. Safiri. Good evening, Your Majesty. How can I, I help? Would, I would like to petition for more citizenship chains for the Royal Registry. Done. I'll have them delivered tomorrow. Amazing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Next, Axel. Hi, uh, I would like to petition that uh, camels be introduced into the wild of both Car Seralia and Orlan. Camels? Camels. They're good for Where the would I find camels? Uh, prob probably in a desert somewhere, because as far as I can tell, there are no deserts in Kara. Well, would you say that it's a good thing that we would try and introduce camels to a place where they are not from? Would you like to go and collect the camel and kidnap a camel from their camel family and put them in a ship and bring them here against their will? <laughs> Is this your proposal, that I expend the country's resources to do this? I mean, when you put it like that, it sounds bad. Well, that's uh, exactly what you are proposing I do. Um... Uh, I suppose? No, I'm not going to do that. Oh. I, I think if somebody wishes to try and introduce a camel, I believe if you are looking to do something like that, the determiners are your best bet, but such a thing will not be cheap. And um, I would say, if there are no camels here in Kara, perhaps there is a good reason for that. Perhaps the climate is not suited to a camel. And perhaps if the camel comes here and is very unhappy, only those who brought the camel here would be to blame. That is fair. All right. Thank you, anyway. Thank Here's you. Lazuli. Oh, hello, Your Majesty. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Sorry, let me just <clears throat> get myself prepared. <laughs> All right. Your Majesty, have you ever wondered what it would be like to sleep underneath the Citadel in the crypts? Don't answer no. that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe you have, maybe you have not. But I look around the room, ooh, 360, and see those many Karns that do. And for those who are curious, if his majesty in all his infinite wisdom allows it, I have just the proposal. Wait, 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 wait. You say <laughs> infinite wisdom? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, keep, uh, finish whatever you're saying. <laughs> I have just the proposal. I invite you to stay at the I'm not dead yet inn. This inn would be underneath the original crypt with a jaw-dropping design. You won't want to miss out on this opportunity. Do you want bragging rights? Who else would be able to say they slept underneath not only the, the Prismarine Citadel, but the crypt? But what makes this even more special is that these rooms would only be able to be rented once a month. Who here wouldn't want to say that they were the first person to stay underneath the Citadel? Here at the I'm Not Dead Yet inn, we have four packages. Each package only has one room. Yes, you heard that right. Only four people can stay at the inn at one time. 
Each package is priced a little differently due to the perks it includes. Now you may be wondering where this money is going, so let me break it down for you. Just kidding. Um, <clears throat> uh, 50%... <laughs> 50% of the profit will go to His Majesty King Ulysses Mountbatten to use as he see fits. 10% of the money will go to the church, and 40% will go to me, Maith Allahorn. If you wish for sp specifics of my 40%, 20% will go into my general funds, 5% will go into my Buying Leaf Trinkets fund, 5% will go into my Send Hazel to Magic School fund, 7% will go into my emergency fund, and 2% will go to my hot cocoa fund. And the 1% goes into my obtaining more bones to hide around the church fund. I will take questions after I explain about the room packages. The packages are as follows. The Crypt Keeper package. This room goes for 3,072 silver pieces or three silver bars. Yep, three. It includes no bed, <laughs> as I in yeah. fact like to sleep on the floor. When you stay in the Crypt Keeper room, you get a ring. After all, every Crypt Keeper needs their ominous ring. Their next, the next package is the War Hero package. This room goes for 6,144 silver pieces, or 6 silver bars. This room contains a bed, ooh, and a place to lay down your weapons. <laughs> when you stay in the War Hero room, you'll receive a random weapon. A weapon fit for a great warrior. The next package is the Noble's room. This room goes for 9,216 silver pieces, or 9 silver bars. This room is a bit more spacious, giving you the ability to pace around in contemplation. It contains a bed made of more expensive material to ensure at least a 4 out of 10 stars worth of sleep. Staying in the noble room, you get free room service. Anything you want, I can try to cook it. Disclaimer. The I'm not dead yet in is not responsible and or liable for any food poisoning or illness that may occur while consuming food Maith has prepared. After your stay in the noble room, you'll receive one high five and a book that shows you were, uh, whatever number you were, uh, when you stayed in the noble suite. Finally, last but not least, we have the fit for a king room. This room goes for 12,288 silver pieces or 12 silver bars. The fit for a king room is the largest room at the I'm not dead yet inn. Now you may be asking, Maith, why is it so expensive? Well, let me tell you why. Staying in this room lets you bring along a guest. So I guess I did my math wrong. Oops, five people. Uh, yeah, you heard me right. You can bring a friend when you stay in the king suite. You'll really feel like royalty with a large room connected to your very own man-made hot spring. You won't even realize you're in the crypt. While enjoying your stay, you'll be able to write up some rules of the crypt. These rules can be near anything. Exclusions apply. And those within the crypt must, not legally binding, follow. After your stay, you will be taking home either a Mountbatten blunt, these were definitely legally obtained, or your choice of bone carvings and or a hair accessory, as well as a I was the ruler of the crypt for a day poster and certificate. I wish to thank Thank his majesty and the court for staying and listening to my proposal. Any questions? Okay. Okay, so where do I start with this? What's the name of the inn? I'm not dead yet. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, right, here, here for Lasley, everyone. That delivery here, was here. excellent. Here, here, here. Everyone's good. Here, here. <laughs> okay. Lasley, I... I we don't have very many people down in the crypt. Many of the people down there are, as you put it in one of your packages, war heroes, uh, such and so forth. I think there's a Yulin down there. Uh, Sir Charles is down there, the first our first ever constable. Um, so, uh, we. I, I don't know how respectful it is to, to them that there's an inn underneath their final resting place. Do you have a response to this? Um, well, they don't get very many visitors to begin with, Your Majesty. I'm really the only person, and, uh, I mean, I talk to them, but I'm also fucking crazy. Um, uh, so, I think maybe having some, like, whispers underneath them might, uh, make them feel like they're alive again i don't know i think 
I think, in my professional crazy bone lady opinion, I think it would be a good idea. It's like enrichment time with animals when you take them out and give them enrichment time. Or giving them enrichment time. Do do any members of the court have a question on this? Somebody Yeah, I saw the I saw the treasurer stand up first actually before. They've been waiting a little while. Halcyon? Halcyon? I'm so sorry. I thought I was speaking, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your right, Majesty. I had a question about your war hero package. Uh huh. <laughs> you know uh, how it says you you get like a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you keep that weapon, or is it like a turn in after you check out kind of thing? Oh no, you get to keep it. Oh wow, that's wonderful. You know okay. what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a theme park that the original Chamberlain of this Citadel wanted to build. And I don't think I can allow this, given that that is what I'm reminded of, Lazuli. So you hate me, Your Majesty. That's not true. That's not... Hickson, something to say, have you? Yes, I just want to say that I, I fully support Faith in this endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and for, for a contrasting opinion, the Chamberlain... I will kick out anybody who tries to sleep underneath of the citadel, including you, Maeve. Oh, Thank you. damn. So I don't care if you paid. The <laughs> office manager. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Bill, there, it's my citadel, actually. Thank you. You'll find. Um, it, it, there's no, there's no eh about it. You're living in my house, is what you're doing? My animals are outside. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> so Hickson's getting inspired, okay? Shut up, Hickson. Oh! Oh! Wow. Wow. Rap battle about it. No. Uh, Bill, Bill, there's something to say, have you? I know you were yeah, jumping. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I think it's a little bit of false advertisement because you wouldn't be the first person to sleep down there. Uh, in fact, Mr. Tom just forced me to sleep down there one time because I didn't clean his shoes correctly. There you go. Oh. Well, you wouldn't yes. be the first to sleep at the, the inn. The inn wasn't there when you slept under, in the crypt and you didn't sleep which, underneath which the crypt. That, what's the name of it? I'm not dead yet. In. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Are there any other questions from members of the court? Uh, yes, other bill. Oh, yeah. For the um, the war hero package, um, can we, like, I think it'd just be nice if, like, the weapon was cursed a little bit. Is it illegal to make a cursed weapon, Your Majesty? I don't know how anyone around here would make a cursed weapon. All right, I'm so sure what I could go, try. I could go travel and buy some cursed weapons and then bring them back here uh -huh. and give them out. I, you could certainly. That is something that you could do with your money, and the consequences of those actions would be your own. And what would they be, Your Majesty? That would be up to the courts to decide. Ooh, okay, never mind. Yeah, because if you give somebody a weapon, and it ends up blowing them up, and their family sues you, uh, I then would sign you're a contract. in trouble. Contracts. <laughs> we tried that already. That didn't work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> are, there, are there any Ooh. other questions on this order? Order. Order. I'm sorry, Leslie. If you commit treason again, you're not going to be able to cry your way out of it like you did last time. I All right, stand <laughs> to be recognized further. Can we get Very some well. audience opinions, Your Majesty? Well, does the, does the audience have an opinion? Well, they're going to be probably the ones paying. Claw. Um, this does not feel legally sound in any way, shape, or form. There's the lawyer's opinion. Standing recognized further. Uh, Iris, I saw you stood up earlier. Oh, I did have one question regarding legalities. What is your response to the um, possibility of Timmy intervening and possibly invading your proper, the so-called property for this investment? Oh, well, I, 
I can't stop Timmy, and if they die to Timmy, it's not my fault. He's just doing his job. He sends the danger, and they're dead. Danger recognized further. Um, uh, Sir Belric. So, my largest concern, I was all for this until the mention of a bed wasn't brought up until I had to pay six silver bars. Is there not a bed provided for three silver bars? Uh, no, because it's themed after me, and I sleep on the floor. Um, and if you want a bed, I know you have money. Um, so, oh my god, <laughs> you can pay for it. <laughs> Next question? <laughs> Standing recognized! Okay, I, I can only take. I can only. <laughs> Stand and recognize. Give me a jump. Uh, yes, the the new member of parliament for Orlon West. Should I have to spend more than a silver bar to sleep somewhere? Why should I have to spend any money at all? As I. With. With your current standing, with anyone's current standing that doesn't live within the Citadel, you're not- live or work, technically. You're not supposed to be on Citadel property without a reason. So, so it is just novelty. It's a luxury. I see. Well, thank you. And, Lazuli, I- I must have some time to think about this, but please don't, please don't start anything or advertise this until I decide. So I can't dig a hole don't where do there would be anything. no, so what if no. there happens to no. already be a hole? Oh my God. There where isn't. <laughs> what if there is when there isn't. you wake up in the morning? Don't do that. Otherwise, I shall have to send a letter to the chaplain informing the chaplain that I will have to look for a new keeper of the crypts. Oh no! Wait! Okay! And that I'm very disappointed in you, and I'm gonna have to put that in writing and send it to the chaplain. Can I cry my way out of this one? You can't cry your way out of this one, no. Okay. Damn. Can I sit down now? You may. The fact that I was reminded of that theme park, though, does not bode well. Yes, come forward, Bill. I'll make this brief because I have to go rescue a uh, a roast. Um, can I have an ice cream sandwich? Uh, didn't you have one last time? Yes, but I ate it. Well, you can't have another one. Aww. You can't have another one until... We go on vacation in a few weeks. Then you can okay. have one. Alright. Do you have to go rescue your roast now? Yep. All right, bye. Everybody say bye, Bill! Bye, Bill! Bye, Bill! Bye! Next, please. Thomas. How can I help? Uh, may I uh, briefly address the uh, room, Your Majesty? Go on. So, howdy, everyone. As you, as some of y'all may know, my name's Stellavad. Uh... You see, I've came across here because I know us Karns like to hold public events, right? And I thought, well, why not have a proper space to hold them public events? So, uh, me Wait, and is this a, few... a petition or is this like an advertisement? Uh, it could be a little bit of both. Are you going to ask me for something or are you going to just try and advertise your new entertainment company? Uh, could I have an ice cream sandwich? Sit down. All right. Thank you kindly. Bill. Oh, howdy, howdy. Um, so for reasons, I have um, a shit ton of like the old like steel armor and steel weapons. I was wondering if I could get like permission slash license to go find like a conflict somewhere or like a disgruntled rebel group uh, or something that I could like sell them to. That's cool. Oh, actually, I have just the thing. If you have a lot of that old equipment, I believe that the uh, Tempered Talon has a deal actually with Koibi. 
I believe oh, there are some axes that the Temper Talon has put together uh, that Koibi may want to get their hands on, but they will need a significant amount of money or some of that old equipment to do so. Oh, we got a shit ton of it. That's perfect. Thank you. There you are. You're welcome. Next. Oh. Hello, Your Majesty. Hello. Um, uh, so, my, my my request, my little petition, this is quite quite a simple one. Uh, from from what I've seen, you you've been able to uh, uh fling cars up into the sky. <laughs> oh, I, I I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, sure, but if, if possible, can can I can I be flung into the sky one day? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm sure if somebody was to fling someone into the sky and you were there, I'm sure somebody somewhere might hear you and fling you into the sky. Thank the you. answer is maybe if the opportunity presents itself. All right, thank yeah, you. Just don't <laughs> ask Elms to do it. Elms can't. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> and the last, please. How can I help? I, I don't necessarily have a request. I have a I have a gift. It, what sword? It's something a decoration. Go, go grab it for me, Declan. That is a very large helmet to be wearing no <laughs> armor for. <laughs> uh huh. I, I, mean, think you'd, uh, I think you'd love this gift. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Oh. There we are. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> here, here. Oh, here. Here, here. That will remain there here, for the here. remainder of the day sitting. And then <laughs> presumably I'll have it brought up to the tower. Thank you for that. What uh, I've seen those around before. I think that's very funny. I think people <laughs> making those it's it's quite true though, I would say. Um Yeah. Isn't that right, Umber? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, Ares, what do you think about that? Yeah, men ain't shit. No, there it is. Here. Good. Here. Here. Very well. With no further public petitions, I move on to my next... Uh, we're, we're coming to the end now, thankfully. Uh, Lord Mayor nominations. Uh, you must currently be a resident in the city. Um, but would anybody like to stand for election to be Lord Mayor of the city of Stone Bay? Stand to be recognized. Or nominate someone else. Nostradamus! Hey, man! What's going on? Hey! Oh my god, he's alive! I mean, hey! But... Hey, but... Uh... <laughs> Go on, man. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, uh, everybody, it's me. I am Nostradamus, and for the last uh, six, eight months, I've been hanging out with, like, uh, some cool guys in the mountains, and they showed me some pretty cool things. Like, like man, if you wanted later, like, after this, maybe, like, you could come over to my place and... Uh, like I could show you, so we could like hang out. But but no, like they showed me some cool things, like how to open your six eye, and it was like super cool. But I think it would make like a cool thing to be mayor, you know, man. Okay, do you live in the city, Nostradamus? Yeah, man. Okay, then why yeah. didn't you just say that you were living in the mountains? Well, I came back, so. Okay, so where in the city do you live? Ah, uh, they, uh, they tore down my home last time, so, uh, the streets, man, you know, sewers. The sewers? You live in the sewers? Uh, I live as an understand. I wouldn't say live. Like, I spend the most of my time above the ground and, and doing things like asking for directions. Like, on my way here, I said... Excuse me, where's the Citadel? And they said I looked scary, and so they, they ran away. But, um, 
I think I would make a good mayor of Stone the Bay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. thank you. I will certainly consider putting you on the ballot. All right, then. Nostradamus for mayor. Come on with me, Nostradamus. Come on, Nostradamus. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Damn. Thank you, man. <laughs> okay, like, I'm serious, though. Like, if you want to, like, hang out and, like, I, like I'll show you some <laughs> stuff <laughs> later. <laughs> you can you can go sit down. I'll certainly consider it. <laughs> further, further nominations stand to be recognized. Basily. Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh. I nominate Sir Hazel Umber, please. Sir Hazel, do you accept the nomination? I accept. You better. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> are you threatening me? No. That was a kind recommendation. <laughs> wow. Further, stand to be recognized. Yes, Axo? What are the chances we can nominate Peepo? Um... Governor Uchida, does Peepo accept the nomination? Um, well, I mean, she's not present to accept it, so I, I can't say yes or no. Well, as, as, as Peepo's agent. Um, what are the duties of Lord Mayor? Is like, like actually, like, a doing lot. things? It's a lot of work. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, she's very busy, like, you know, purring literally all of the time. And and then meowing some of the time. Oh, that and makes sense. Laying down like, there all of the time. She's very busy. So uh, busy no. woman. I understand. Okay. Very well. Further stand to be recognized. Thank you. It looks like the ballot will be Nostradamus. Nostradamus, are you here still? Did you? Yeah, man. I'm out here. I'm just hanging out, man. Hey. Oh, you were outside the room. You went outside hey. the room. Yeah, I had to take a minute, but, uh, hang on, man, I'm gonna get up, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, let's get up, excuse me, sorry, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it looks like the ballot will be Nostradamus and Sir Hazel Umber. And of course, I think I speak for all of the residents of our city and our country when I thank... Uh, Bridget, for their time and their considerable effort as our current Lord Mayor. Thank you for your uh, service and, of course, best of luck in your future endeavors and Thank adventures, you. for that matter. Very well. Here, here, Bridget! Here, 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 here. Thank you all, and I will now move on. Sir Kale, the Azure Blade, please. Very well. I call Iris Valheim and Helena Valheim to the standing marks. There's two there. You gotta, yeah, presumably one of you's on. Yeah, there you go. Great. Okay, that's, that's acceptable. Great. <laughs> Very well. Uh, the Honors Commission has recommended uh, the transference of your knighthood, uh, and I have accepted uh, that recommendation and will now do so. In the name of Natvian, I charge you to be kind. In the name of Dorius, I charge you to be honest. In the name of Lascaire, I charge you to be ambitious. In the name of the Mother, I charge you to defend this kingdom, this Kara, from this day until your last day. Now, both of you, please rise, Knights of Kara. Congratulations. Here, here, yeah? Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. here, here. Oh. And I actually have the sashes here. Yep. One for you. And one for you. Congratulations. Woo! Um, oh, here you go, Kale. You're going to need this back. There you are. Congratulations. And here, here, one more time, everyone, yeah? Here, here. here, here. here, here. Uh, I will also instruct the Royal Constabulary, now that we have gone through with this process, uh, to begin um, 
obviously in regards and in accordance uh, with the Honor Act, which I wrote myself, uh, codified in law, uh, to begin proceedings uh, against anyone who claims to have an award or a knighthood when they do not. Of course, Your Majesty. Umber. Uh, Your Majesty, uh... Raylan was appointed as the land commissioner for Orlon quite some time ago, but they weren't available to take their oath, mm. but they're here today. Raylan, front and center, please. The first oath. Um, I, Raylan Espa, do swear that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the throne, its king, his heirs, and successors, long as to reach darkest city. Thank you, Raylan. And here, here for the new Orlon Land Commissioner, yeah? Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Being Land Commissioner is thankless work. Just ask Roan Umber, and he will tell you, or maybe not. Maybe he'll just walk past you and look at you weird, which is fair enough. You just asked him something on the street out of nowhere. So, <laughs> it's true. So, it's not, it's, it's, the Crown Land Commission obviously is not um, uh, work that makes you the most popular person, especially amongst uh, the mayors and the city planners and builders in most of the towns. Uh, for somebody to put themselves out there and want to do that work, um, they put themselves at a significant amount of personal risk. Um, and of course, their reputation and such and so forth, also at risk. So, um, thank you to those who do that job, uh, the Lord Chancellor, Sir Belric, and now Raylan. Uh, it is hard work, but somebody needs to do it. So, now with that, I will move to closing statements. I have two on the agenda. I wonder who put them there. The Chamberlain, please. Uh. Your closing I statements, forgot. Melina. I forgot I did that. You did indeed. I made the agenda. Oh. You did um, indeed. Yeah. So, um, hi. Uh, so tomorrow is the state opening of Parliament. I know His Majesty um, mentioned it um, earlier in the session. Um, however, uh, as stated at the dissolution of the Eighth Parliament of Orlan, uh, there is a possibility that this could be the last Parliament of Orlan. Um, you guys need to care about the government, otherwise you simply won't have the government, and it'll just be his majesty. Um, and I am sure that there are plenty of you who not necessarily don't want that, but you want to have, you know, a say in the laws and the things that affect all of you, um, regardless of your citizenship status. Um, so I highly suggest that you go to tomorrow's state opening, um, as Her Highness Eve is going to be the speaker, and she's going to do a great job, and I think we should all be here to support her, um, because it's fucking hard. I did it last time, and it was hard. Anyways, um, I also have another statement. I'm not going to sit down, I'm going to just stay standing. Um, the municipal elections are coming up. I do know that we, um, did just have the nominations for the Lord Mayor, um, today in this room, um, but the nominations for the rest of the towns within Kara um, will uh, start on Wednesday, um, next Wednesday, I believe. Yes, next Wednesday, uh, they will be posted to the board and you all will be able to nominate people to be the mayors of your towns. The elections will be held the week afterwards. Um, Honestly, same thing as the parliament. You guys should care about the government, whether or not it's municipal or kingdom wide. So um, please participate. I spend a lot of time doing stuff for that. Don't waste my time, please. Dear God, please don't waste my time. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Further closing statements. This would be the time to advertise your thing. Members of the court stand to be recognized. Pastor Bill. Oh, yeah. I just want to thank everyone who came out to uh, the Order of Good Terror Summer Slam yesterday. Um, the order raised over 3,000 silver. Um, so someone walked away with a, I think it was Steel Vibe, walked away from the 50 50 raffle with a bunch in hand. Um, that money would somebody go else totally... walked away in chains. Oh, yes, that happened too. Never a dull day in Dar, let me tell you. Well, no, no, no stone amplifier action at the beginning there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, I will say, Declan, very quick, very clean, very nice. Um, oh, he would have been an idiot if he caused trouble there. Um, 
But uh, I will say uh, those the funds from that will go towards the order um, in our efforts across, like in some of the efforts we've done in the past, which I would like to take this time to thank uh, the members of the Land Commission um, for helping us identify areas of Kara that are in need of yesification. We all know yesification is a holy act, my friends, and it's something we should all strive for because um, no one likes uh, ugly land. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Stand to recognize further... Sir Hazel. Hi. Um. Uh. Next month, July twelfth, uh, myself and the Exarch Altair are hosting a, f a new festival for the summer out of my seasonal festivals that I usually do, called the Festival of Flo Floating Lights. Right now, we're currently selling uh, stalls for it, but it's going to be car carnival esque. A lot of games, a lot of prizes. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're also doing a, a new system where uh, you can uh set bounties on people attending and they'll be arrested for like five minutes for money to uh, raise money for uh, new travelers to Kara. So I hope I see a lot of you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've been having a lot of fun planning, etc. Thank you. Stand to recognize further closing statements. Sir Belrec. Um, I wanted to give a progress report regarding the work being done as Governor General. Um, as stated in the last... Um, Court of the Prince Marine Throne. The O's for Kendra had not yet started. I want to inform everybody here that the O's are nearly complete. Um, I am just waiting on two more people who have reached out by Crow that they are currently unavailable, um, but are going to do their O's upon their return to Kara. Um, but other than those two people, um, it is complete. And then I have begun speaking with the different municipalities throughout Seralia in order to solve some population density issues that we had previously discussed and ideas on how to solve that. Thank you, Sir Belric. Further, stand you recognized the new member of parliament for Orlon West. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Freyr Elian. If we haven't met before, um... I'm the new MP for Orlan West. Um, I just wanted to say, this is something that was stated in my questions for, for parliamentarians, but I am planning on hosting a weekly tavern office hours, where if you show up at the Red Fox Tavern while I'm doing these office hours and talk to me about parliament, I will buy you a drink. I want to hear what everyone in Hikara has to say, not just my own writing. So I implore you all to come and further details will be posted on the board shortly. All right, thank you. Stand to recognize further. Axo. Uh, for all those who are interested, uh, if you want camels in Orlan and Seralia, talk to Namora or uh, throw money in the thing at uh, the Red Fox Tavern. Thank you. Again, with the camels. I really like The camels, camels. who may not like it here. Yeah. Hey, Mora. Can I just state to the room that I do not work with Axo. That, that's all <laughs> that I have to say is that <clears throat> I don't work with them and they have no alive. affiliation with me. Order, me? order, order, order. Only one person may be speaking at once. Do not try and yell <laughs> over the mayor of Hollow Creek. When they're trying to distance themselves <laughs> from you politically. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else then, Nimora? I would just like to ask Exo to stay at least like 10 feet away from me <laughs> at all public okay. events. Oh, That's all that I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Stand to be recognized further and finally. The treasurer. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, I just, as my reminder, uh, when paying your rent or taxes or any other financial obligations, please pay it to either the Citadel or the post office with your name, amount paid, and um, dates paid. If you are paying it for multiple dates, um, I've also received a lot of taxes that have been incorrectly counted in which I have covered. I implore you to count uh, maybe a second or third time if you are 
submitting. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, a little bit of a fun announcement from me. Uh, like I stated at the beginning of this session, uh, there is a, a vacation coming up for uh, many of us who work here uh, and many uh, all over, uh, especially those who work in the Crown Office and whatnot. Uh, and in the church, I know a great many people from the church are going to uh, most of that bench, actually, except for you, Safiri, I think. You're staying behind. Um, somebody has to, you know, keep the chaplain uh, company and make sure the chaplain doesn't spend all of the money on something. Uh, and that is your job, I believe. Um, but um, yes, it will be quite a lot of fun. Uh, so much fun uh, that Sir Hazel has been hosting dance classes uh, for certain people who do not know how to dance, such as His Grace, the Duke of Norbrook, and Fuck's sake. the Chief Constable, and Lazuli. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> oh God, Your Majesty! Whoa, 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 I know how to dance. Okay. Yeah. Show us. Um, can I politely decline, or would that be uh, treasonous? Very well. You, I will. I look forward to hearing from Sir Hazel about how you do it. Their next dance class. Uh, when is it? I. Will be I'm sick. sure the two of you can discuss it, and Sir Kale will. Ensure the attendance of those who I just named. What if we don't attend, Your Majesty? It's a weird then Sir Kale will remedy them. Like a high five, for chance? Sir Kale will remedy it. I don't know what that means. Sir Kale will deal with it. Okay, good definition. Sir Kale you. will conclude it forever and finally. Is it like an eternal slumber? You would not be so lucky. Oh. You see, Sir Kale knows your dreams. And your hopes. <laughs> and your fears. What are they? I don't fear anything, Your Majesty. I not literally anymore. can't. But when you did, Sir Kale sees all and knows all. And if you do not fear Sir Kale, then I'm afraid you're fucking delusional. Oh yeah, I am pretty delulu. That is true. Very well, Sir Kale will compel the attendance of those who I named to the dance class. That concludes today's Prismarine Court. Thank you all so much for being a part of the best part of my week. Uh, I will see you, same time, same place, next month. Thank you all so much. This meeting is adjourned. Fucking right. Yes? Can you uh, leave the crown off of the throne for me to grab for tomorrow? Can you, can you actually take it? Yeah. Can you take it and, um... Oh, you... and Eve, you're going to need this. Where do you want me to have it? Could you hold on to it and make sure it's in um, tip-top shape for tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I... I oh, oh, how wow. did that happen? You how just punched... Did... Because... Rude? Because... Cause, yeah, because you have to, because you have to hit it at the base. Oh, yeah. and, and of course, no. and of course, if the crown goes missing, Sir Kale will remedy that. I know. <laughs> I think the throne will remedy it no, for you. Kale. All right, so that happened. Uh, another failed attempt to get a camel in Orlon, at least easily. Uh, but either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. This is Valence SMP. Look us up on TikTok. There are many a videos made by. Uh, it's not that awesome woman, but like, oh, hey, here's the money. You can meet all these awesome people and more at Valence SMP. So go check it out. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And this is Demonis. Demonis is also part of Valence SMP, and if you join, they will most likely give you a hug and call you cool. So, what the? Eh. <laughs> oh. Like I said, join Valence and some P. There's lots of fun people here. <laughs>